What's going on guys? John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to create our first web page with Ruby on Rails. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to create our first web page with Rails. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so in the last video, we went through that sort of marathon sort of method of installing Rails on a Windows computer. In this video, I want to create our first web page and sort of get things going, but I also want to spend a few minutes just sort of talking about Rails, what it is, how it works, what all of this stuff over here is. I mean, this is a lot of stuff over here. And it can be really overwhelming if you're just getting started. So that's what we're going to look at in this video. So first things first, this is the gem file. And you can see right here, it's it's just lo located right here on the left hand corner here in these little bits of files right here. And what this is, is this allows you to install different things into your app. So if we want to add third party things into our app, we'll add them in the gem file. So the first thing I always do when I create a new project is I always just come through here and I delete all of these comments because, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on in this file and, you know, it could get overwhelming with all of this stuff. So I just knock out all these comments right off the top just to clean this up a little bit. Seems like the more Rails goes on in development, the more stuff that gets crammed into this gem file. So, okay, these are the main things. And you can hit Control S to save this or come up here and file save. So let me go ahead and close this. We're not going to do anything with the gem file just right now, but we'll get into that later. So before we get started, let's take a quick look at these things. And before we do that, let me explain a little bit about Rails. So Rails is what's called an MVC architecture, Model View Controller. And just a very high level understanding of what this means is kind of important and will help you to understand what all of this stuff is. So models are databases. And the nice thing about Rails is you can use any kind of database you want nothing changes in your app. So you can swap out databases. You could put MySQL in there or Postgres or SQLite 3 and nothing in your app changes. You don't have to change any of your code because Rails abstracts away the database stuff, the model, and it does it all for you. We just have to change the gem in our gem file and maybe tweak a thing here or there and that's all there is to it. So that's very cool. So model view controller. Views are web pages. So anytime you're thinking of HTML type things, those are views, right? So models, databases, views, web pages. C stands for controller. And controller is sort of like the brains behind the scene. If you're familiar with Django, that's sort of like your views.py file, you know, that's all your controller type code. Same thing with Rails. Rails has something just called controllers. And we'll do a lot of like coding stuff behind the scenes for our views in the controller. So anytime you're, you you want to do some coding type stuff, you can do that on the, the view on the HTML page, but it's not really best practices. You want to kind of get your code off of your web pages and put them in the controller. So model view controller, just sort of keep that in mind. And that's really all you need to know at this point. But now if we come through here, we'll start to see those model view controller sort of things show up over here. So right off the bat, let me just say there's a lot of stuff going on in this left hand corner here. Like there's a lot of directories, a lot of files, and it could be super overwhelming, especially if this is your first time looking at Ruby and Rails or even coding at all. And the good news is we're not going to mess with most of the stuff over here. A lot of the stuff, especially for simpler apps, you're just not going to use all of this stuff. It's overkill. We're going to hang out in two or maybe three of these directories. And really that's all there is. So uh, don't be sort of nervous to see all this stuff. Don't be like overwhelmed. There's only a few things we really need to focus on. So let's just start at the top. So this app directory, we do a lot of stuff in this app directory and we can click on it to expand it. Here we have assets. These are things like CSS files, JavaScript, images, things like that. So when we need to do that, we'll work in that directory. Channels will ignore controllers. That's the C in the model view controllers. And right now we don't really have anything. We've got this one little file. There's nothing really in it. As we build out our website, controllers will be created for us and then we can mess with them however we want. And we'll get into that later. Helpers, we're really not going to mess around with. JavaScript, this is sort of new in Rails 6, I think. This used to be in the assets folder. See? So we probably won't do much with that. Jobs, we're not going to mess with. Mailers, we're not going to mess with. 
models, here's part of the models in the model view controller architecture. We may mess around with this a little bit. And then views, here's our views. And here we have another directory called layouts. We'll talk about what that is later. But basically, when we build out web pages, they're going to end up in this views directory. And we'll see that very quickly because we're going to build out a web page in just a second. So that's the app directory, very quick high level look at it. Bin is a directory we're really not going to do anything with hardly ever. Uh, config we'll mess around with a little bit. So let's see, this routes.rb file is important. Anytime we create a web page, it needs a route. Sort of like in Django, a urls.py file, sort of like that, a little bit different, but uh, every page needs a route, so we'll look at that very soon. And really, that's pretty much all we're going to deal with in that directory. So we can close that. Database, that's the database and the models view controller, the model. There's some more model stuff that goes on in here. We might look at that uh, just a little bit, but not much goes on in there that we really care about. Lib, we won't deal with at all. Log, we won't deal with at all. Uh, let's see, public, we won't deal with at all. Storage, we won't deal with. Test, we won't deal with. Temp we won't deal with, and vendor we won't deal with. So of all of these directories, we're really just kind of focusing on app mostly. And from time to time, we'll look at config. And really, that's pretty much it. So we can ignore the rest of this stuff. Now, obviously, if you're getting into super advanced things, you may need to tinker around with a few things in those directories. But for the most part, you can just ignore all those things. So that's really good. Let's see through here, all of these files. You know, here we got a readme file, right? We don't really care about that. And uh, the gem file, that's an important one. We'll get into that. And then that's pretty much it. We can ignore the rest of this stuff. So it seems like there's a lot of stuff going on here, but it, there's really not that much. So let's just jump in and create our first web page. And it's pretty simple to do this. Let's head back over to our terminal. And you can see our Rails server is still running because we've got localhost 3000 up. We've got this little Rails page going. So Anytime you run, you need to run a command in Rails, you're going to have to break out of this server or just open up another git bash terminal. So I'll often keep two terminals open and then just toggle between them. But you can just sort of cancel out of here. And to break out of this server, hit the control button and the C button on your keyboard at the same time. It's CTRL. It's a little usually down in the bottom left hand corner. And then just the C key. Hit them both at the same time. It breaks right out of there. So we can clear the screen. So now we want to create a web page and Rails has all kinds of little helper files that will do things for you. And one of those things is the generator. Generators, we can generate all kinds of things for us and it does all the work for us. So that's one of the really nice things about Rails. And to use a generator, we just come over to our terminal and type in Rails generate or you can just type in Rails G. Sort of like when Rails server, we did that earlier, we just typed in Rails S. So a lot of times you can sort of uh, abbreviate like that. So Rails G. And now what do we want to create? Well, we want to create a controller for our new web page. And we want that controller to be in home. And we also want to create a, a page called index, right? So we, we can do this and we see hit enter. And boom, it's created all of this stuff for us. So in app controllers, it's created a home controller. Remember model view controller. We need a controller for every web page. So it's created a home controller for us in our app controller directory. It's created a route. Remember, every web page needs a route. So like your URL, that's a route. So this is, is listed at localhost slash localhost colon 3000 slash home slash index. It's created a view. So this is where the actual directory is, app views home. Inside of this directory, it's created an actual web page for us, index.html.erb. And I should mention all Rails files all Rails HTML pages and an ERB. That allows us to use embedded Ruby on the web page. So that's very cool. Uh, so that's the convention there. It's also created some test stuff and some helpers. We're not going to really mess with that in this course. And it's also created a little style sheet, a CSS style sheet for us in app assets style sheets. So now we can hit Rails S to start our Rails server again. And it's booting up. And now we can head back over to the web page and we can go to localhost colon 3000 slash home slash index. And when we do, we see this very simple web page. Now there's not much going on here, but this is just sort of the, the default stuff that it's created for us. And you can see home index and it says, find me an app views home index.html.erb. So if we want to change this file, we can head back over to our code and we can go to app 
views. And there's this new home directory. And inside of here, there's our index.html. And here you see that page. So if we want to change all of this, we could say, uh, hello world. Save this, head back over to our web server, hit reload, boom, hello world. And now we've got our first Rails web page. Now, this granted is not very cool for a URL, localhost colon 3000 slash home slash index. What we really want to do is make this our default home page. So when we go to localhost 3000, we want that hello world page to show up. Well, how do we do that? Well, we just need to create a route for it and change our current route. So, so let's head back over to our code real quick and we can go to our routes. So we want to go to config and then look for routes.rb right here. And before this was empty, but now we see this new route has been put in there for us, get home index. And if we want to change this to the sort of root home page, we just type in root and then home and then the, the hashtag or the number sign index. So this looks a little bit different than this one. And this is a special case because it's our home page. It's our root page, right? So it looks a little bit different than this. Now we can keep this other one or we can comment it out. I'll just comment that out. And now notice when I do comment this out, if we go back here and we go back to home index and hit reload, we're going to get an error because there's no longer a route to that home page pointing at home slash index because we commented this out. If I uncomment this out and save this and come back here and hit reload, it's back again. So if you want it, leave it. If you don't take it out, I don't. So I'm going to take that out. And now let's try out our root route, right? So this is routes.rb. We're creating a route to this page. It's the root route. Come back here, hit localhost colon 3000 and hit enter. Boom. Now it says hello world there. And we've created our first web page, pointed it at our route, and we're good to go. So the routes can be a little confusing. They'll get easier to understand as thing goes as time goes on. If we could control C to break out of here, we can actually see all of our current routes by typing in Rails routes. And this will sort of rake the routes and spit out a little report. And uh oh, we're getting all kinds of weird stuff here. So this is a list of all of the routes that we currently have. And it's kind of hard to read all this on this page here. If we sort of maximize this, it might be a little easier to read. I'm in a black background. <laughs> uh, but mostly here, let's just look at this one. Here's our root one, and it's a get. And here's the URI, and the pattern is nothing. And, the, and this doesn't make any sense now, but as we create more routes, uh, we'll look at them and they'll start to come into certain patterns you'll understand and they'll make sense. So let's go Rails S and run this again. And let's head back over here and let's close this and let's go to our app home index page. And underneath here, uh, this is my first Rails web page. Dot, 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 whatever. If we save this, come back over here, hit reload. Boom. Hello world. This is my first Rails web page. And it's just that easy. Now, from now on out, anytime you want to make anything on this web page, you could just head over here, paste it in right here, and you're good to go, right? So just that quick, we've got our first web page up in Rails. Really, really simple and pretty cool. So, so that's sort of Rails in a nutshell. That's what all of this stuff is over here on the left-hand side. Again, don't get overwhelmed by all of this stuff. As we've just seen, we're really only going to deal with a couple of directories in here, and we can just ignore the rest. And as you start to use this more, things will become easier to understand. This all really makes sense once you sort of spend some time with it. Uh, for instance, if we come up here, we didn't actually look at, but let's look at the controller really quickly. Before there was just this application controller and there wasn't really anything in there. Now we have a home controller and we've got this home controller that's been created for us. We've got this function index. This correlates to our index.html page right here, right? So index, index. Now inside of here, we can do anything we want and uh, it will, the code will work for this index.html.erb page. And we'll probably look at that in the next video, maybe start to mess around and uh, do some Ruby stuff in this controller that's kind of fun and uh, all that good stuff. So like I said, Rails is a little bit overwhelming at the beginning, but 
before long, this will all make sense. And you'll just be like, oh, yeah, controller. Oh, yeah, view. Oh, yeah, model. It all just sort of works itself out. And it's not that bad at all. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. Say pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 45 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com. I'll see you in the next video.